Yo, what you sniffing at, Lightning Hand? Sniff. He punched the race mentor. How will he recover from it? I outraced the race mentor. That's how I will recover. I am of the superior. I don't think ne neither YouTube or Twitch will like it if I say this in the first 22 seconds of me starting this. But I, I am of the superior race, I guess. <laughs> and I really am. Uh, let me close this. Let me close. Wait, let me close this. And let me start up the game. Time to die to the chair. I don't think they do the chair anymore. Like, what kind of chair are we talking about? The ga gaming chairs? I would never sit on a gaming chair. Man, they must be really uncomfortable. Do you guys have, like, what kind of chairs do you guys have? Personally, I sit... <laughs> no, what's wrong with me? <laughs> it's been, like, it's been one minute now, and I already thought of a joke that has to do with a dildo machine. <laughs> Ah, uh, let me start up the game. Ah, oh. Everett is going to eat him. Is Everett a fat guy? Because then, yes, he is going to eat me. He will get alcohol poisoning, though, if he does that. Can you get alcohol poisoning by eating, like, something that is just drunk? Can you eat drunk animals? Or does the cooking just, or rather, well, you shouldn't eat them raw, I guess. Like, I do think the cooking evaporates the alcohol anyway. Hi Lambda, I'm currently 16 hours in a car trip. How are you accessing the internet from a car? What the fuck? What's this magic? Everyone post pictures of their chairs? Yes, please. Uh, with with all stains as well, we need to see them. I want to I want to know what you do in your chair. Oh God, no. Um. Okay, let's go. Before you is a walrus of a man. Oh my God! Behind a large desk, he looks up from his work, not the least bit surprised to see you. He's literally me. Holy shit! With great effort, he straightens himself up in his chair, yet says nothing. He simply stares at you. I leave without comment. Have a good day, Mr. Dubois. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. He waves and returns to his typing. Dubois? Is that French bullshit my name? Dubois? My name is Ambrose Raphael Cousteau, I believe. Mr. Dubois, I hope time is on your side this time. Please, take a seat. He gestures to the minuscule folding chair opposite his huge desk. Actually, I'm a bit, I'm in a bit of a hurry right now. I leave again. Have a good day, Mr. Dubois. I'm, Mr. Dubois. I'm a bit of a, a hurry. Hurry. Mr. Dubois, I need to leave. Good, good goodbye. Mr. Dubois, I goodbye. Okay, okay. The game doesn't acknowledge that I keep annoying him. Mr. So Dubois, I, hope time is on your side this time. I take his. I don't even take acknowledge him calling me a name, so I just take a seat. Excellent, Mr. Dubois. Will I really? I see that you are okay, I will really. Reasonable men. Reasonable men can be a great use to one another. He gives me a sly wink. I I try to wink back. So tell me, how can the head of the Debardes Union help a representative of the Revishal Citizens Militia today? Is this French for degenerate? The chair is incredibly uncomfortable. Fortunately, your ass is made of Iron. Is it? And the chair is made of wood. Iron beats wood. You manage not to shift around too much. So we're talking about gamer chairs. We have it right here. We have, like, well, would you rather sit on this chair or a gamer chair? Tell me right now. Oh, uh, by the way, I heard you got a rather rude reception from a certain Lawrence Gart. Some people have no manners. It pains me to say. His name is Garté. Okay, he's. French. This should take care of that nonsense. He points to a giant novelty check on his desk. It's absolutely comically huge. Is he giving me money? It should be sufficient to cover your expenses for a few days and patch over your differences with a cafeteria manager. Go ahead, take it. He points at it again. Of course I take it. It's free money. Wow, that's 25 real. That's good money. You need it. It's almost enough to get me my new pants. 
Wait, you know Gate? Thank you, Elrod. Take the comically large check. I take the comically large check, but I don't say anything. Or keep it, I'm good. I leave the check. What? You can take that comically large check and shove it up your ass. I leave it. No, I take it, but I don't say anything. Is there anything you'd like to say to me? Or? No, it's cool. I've got integrity. Cool? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I'm sure there are cooler things than delivering a comically oversized novelty check to a cafeteria manager. But, sure, if that's what's cool nowadays. I continue. Now, I'd like to set your mind at ease about one other matter. Your lost gun. Let me assure you, union people are on it as we speak. I've got my best hounds looking for that lost gun. Holy shit, we should have gone to this guy immediately. He has it all figured out. He's helping me immensely. Thank you very much, Mr. Leah. His slug-like lips move. But all you hear is an echo. Lost gun. Lost gun. Lost gun. Dental plan. <laughs> oh shit. The world is swallowed by a black hole of fear. Only two words escape its gravitational pull. Lost and gun. I'm not worried. I got this. Are you all right, Harry? Harry? You you've got this, but you seem a little anxious to me. Don't be. Everything's going to be all right. Harry, is he making fun of my new glasses, calling me Harry Potter? It's not like you left it loaded. You didn't lose a loaded gun. Local children aren't out there playing with it right now, pointing it into their own mouths. It's in a safe place. Oh, thank God. I just know it. I have a feeling everything's going to be all right. Ooh, oh, man, it feels really good to know that Mr. Mr. Claire is on our side and, like, reassuring me that well. Oh, thank you, Everard. It was loaded. There were two bullets in it. You always keep at least two barrels loaded. Why? Why? Okay, my composure. Let's see. I took the novelty check, which apparently didn't help. It should make me, make me feel more safe. I didn't say thanks for it, which helped again. The chair is killing me, which is not good. But my ass is iron, which is good. Uh, Kim? Uh... Yeah. No, I tried to check. I can heal myself up if I fuck this up. Okay. Let's hype ourselves up, everyone. Let's do it. Who does this guy think Heck he yes! Ronnie the Rookie. You ain't worried about no lost gun or unpaid bill or forgotten name. You're the bad cop. You're probably more corrupt than him. I fully agree. Wait, that's it? That's my point for right here? Sink deep into the folding chair. Smile and cross your hands behind your back. Yes. Let's outsmuck this smuck snail. The fat man does the same, sinking deeper into his chair than one would think is physically possible. He seems to be enjoying your little display. And so am I. Good. Now lean in with some corruption. Listen, Everard. Pal, we both know what makes the wheels of the world turn. It's adrenochrome. It's adrenochrome, everyone. That we do, Harry. Let them say what they will about you and me. We're both born fighters. Um, this fighter could have used a more comfortable chair. No, I, I will never admit to that. I will just say, nice bit with the chair, by the way. <laughs> a good way to keep your guests on edge. Why, thank you. It's always nice when a fellow professional appreciates your work. How can a chair be so uncomfortable that that you die? I don't believe that. That's it. Now kick back and add a final flourish for dignity. I'm not saying I'm corrupt. I'm rational. This is a, a worm slayer. We both know why I'm here I'm to help you help grow your horde. Thanks for your hospitality. Feel free to visit me down at the station anytime. And let's just return the favor. You strike me as a reasonable man, Harry. I like that in a law man. I am the law. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? What can Everard Claire do for you? I am the law! I think we'd like to ask you a few questions. Don't you think so, Detective? The lieutenant looks quite fed up with the situation. Uh, like every single episode I upload of this to YouTube will have the title I am the law. <laughs> because I am the law. Somehow you managed to get yourself out of this one. Now quick, keep the mm. up. Ask questions. What do I choose? Uh, what's in the container that's outside your office? I met Joyce. I wanted... Did I? 
Who is Joyce? Who is... I want to talk about the hanging. <laughs> Let's talk about my gun. Could you help me get a dead body down from a tree? Uh, is this why I came here? They want to ask for the help? Oh, the boat! The old hag! The hag! On the boat, Joyce the boat lady, boat lady. Why did none of you say the hag? She was an old hag. Aren't you going to ask me how I got in? I'm told the union is involved in the local drug trade. Do we just want to just cards on the table like that? I don't think so, right? So, um, let me, let us talk about the hanging first. Like, lubing, lubing this fat guy up before we just go in. Oh, of course. That's your main thing here. I believe it is. That's why you're in Martin Ace. Mm -hmm. I know everything that goes on around here, and I would love to discuss it with you. But. I mean, it's no secret that the lynching is connected to the strike. So much to talk about. Honestly, it's been weighing on me so heavily. I understand you need to interview me. I say nothing. But there's a thing that's been keeping me up at night. <clears throat> I want to talk about the hanging. I mean, if we could just calmly talk, exchange information, we could blow this thing wide open. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Acre Flame. If it's morning for you, I guess it is. You have met three hacks in this game, but only one boat lady. Boat lady? Hang in wheelchair? Do you mean like the bookstore lady as well? I guess? Anyway. Yes, yes, I want to blow. I want to blow you too. Thank you, Everard. Yes. How do we do that? Yes, that sounds good. Let's do that. Lieutenant says with a slow nod. But I can't think straight with this thing weighing on me. You're police officers, aren't you? I have a crazy idea. You guys are basically door opening machines. Incredibly talented at opening doors. <laughs> Option one and two are both good. I've opened a few doors in my life. Or, Kim, is that true? Are we door opening machines? <laughs> now, I have, in fact, opened quite a few doors in this life. And I'm sure you're going to open this one with flying colors, Harry. <laughs> this really is very simple, and there's nothing shady about it. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, that sounds nice then. Does this jiggling ooze think he's going to use you? He's got another thing coming. Play his game, son, with your eyes peeled. He's going to slip up, and when he does, you're going to come out on top. Wait a second. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. Forgot to, I forgot to end my workout earlier. Well, now it's like one hour and 37 minutes long. <laughs> Just not true. I don't think I can edit it. Thanks for telling me, Phil. Okay, uh, why don't you op just open it yourself? Whose door is it anyway? But you don't even know anything about the hanging. <laughs> it pays him. Final look into it. We need to talk about that murder. Immediately accepting the task or refusing the task for now. Whose door is it? Oh, no one's. It's just a weasel. A weasel lives there. Nothing for you to worry about. What kind of weasel? Is it like a weasel in my pants or? A loud blabbering weasel. When weasels feel no one is watching, they start acting foolishly. He removes his glasses and rubs his nose. Oh my god, nose rubbing? Just go there, unlock the door and leave it open. It's been such a burden on me, Harry. I just want this to be over so I can discuss business with you. Puts his glasses back on. Uh, I bet you don't even know anything about a hanging. Harry, my dear friend, I am what people call a local bigwig. I know everything that goes on in Martinez. Well, emphasis on big, I guess. Why don't you just open it yourself? Harry, I'm a very busy man, and more importantly, I don't have that extraordinary physique you do. You look like you could run around all day. And I can, actually, I can. Thank you very much for noticing. My calves are made of, like, double steel of my ass is made of iron. You want to send someone a message that the police are working for you. I repeat, I'm a very, very busy man, Mr. Kitsuragi, and therefore I must occasionally enlist outside help. So what will it be, Harry? I can refuse the task for now, which means that sooner or later I will have to accept it. Why not? Why not? I'm doing shit for everyone here. So, yeah, fine, I'll, I'll look into it. Fantastic, my friend. Just let me know when it's done and we can take our friendship to the next level. He licks his fingers. I know it says flicks, but licking would be funnier. You can get the key from Manana. He's down by the gates. 
Manana's like a free agent in the union. Special operations. Hardened socialist. A real free thinker, too. He'll tell you precisely where the door is. One last thing, Harry. He smiles, obviously satisfied with how well he planned it all out. Just open the door. You don't need to go in or anything. I just want that weasel to come home and see the unlocked door. Oh, I will go in. Don't worry about that. I'm going to steal him dry. <laughs> Um. Hmm. It's in a container, actually. My dear Harry, there are literally millions of containers in this harbor. I couldn't possibly remember what's in all of them. There's something special about it. It was atta attached to the Kvalsund crane. Harry, you smooth-talking son of a bitch. That I am. Time is a precious resource, and I don't have enough of it to count containers with you. Smooth talking. Maybe that's the way to go about opening Ooh. You should at least try convincing it. Maybe I got like a like a bonus for it now. Um Okay. I don't really want to talk about the hack boat lady, so I'm just going I'm, I'm going now, but we might talk again later. Wait. You need this to get in and out through the gate. He leans in he le he leans, comma, I guess, reaches into his drawer and pulls out a plastic card. I wouldn't want to get stuck in here. Thanks. Yeah, um, I'm not going to say thanks. I'm just going to say great. Here, you're one of us now. A real red and white union man. Oh my god. Here, Am I now? I didn't accept any of this. I don't subscribe to this union bullshit. Anyway. Open the apartment door for Everard. Everard asks you to open the basement door behind the greenhouse in the backyard to intimidate the occupant. Or maybe that's our way to get up on the roofs. Do what you have to do. Everard has promised to give you info on the case in return. Get the key to the weasel store from Manana. Let's see. I'm, I'm getting some fascist points. My goal is to have more fascist than communist points by the end of this game. This is a 20... By 50 centimeters check, it looks like it's meant to be handed over ceremoniously on a gala-like event. Supposedly exchanged for 25 real at your local Fritz store. Below the number, a careful hand has written the words Con Constable's Rent. All of it. Constable? With a U? He was being cheeky there, wasn't he? Note, worthless in the pawn shop. Can we just sell that shit? I can't just... I'm really close to my pants. What about getting the corpse from the tree? I don't, no one cares about the corpse. I want my pants. I need to, to complete my hobo look. But first we need to open this. And we need to save. And we need to proper save. Because we've been told to do this every once in a while. You're back before the cargo container. It's oh, I, I still can't. Since you were lost here. All right. Okay, but maybe maybe next time we'll we'll get easier. I don't know. Is the only way to find your gun? Is he now? Wait, how do we how do we leave? Can can I just leave the way I came in from? Why did, why was he giving me a key card? Where's the door? What? Also, wasn't there something here? Did I? Stand steady as ever. I need volition. Okay, I need volition and I need like something about talking. What's going on down here now that I opened the door basically? What, what about Manana? So, how'd you like a harbor? He stares at me with hazy eyes. Labor utopia. It's complete shit. It's but a rest area on the path leading across open plains. He notes solemnly, then turns to me, a white smile on his face. Right. You talk to the boss, eye to eye, like men of the plain. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. Can we ask him for money? I don't think I've asked him for money yet. Do you have any idea who killed the man? The mercenary, eh? Who could have killed him? That's indeed the question. Why even do such a thing? No, 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 no. You don't get to answer my question with another question of why. I ask you who. Let's change the topic. The man whispers a jaunty tune. 
A coastal breeze ruffles his hair. Fuck his hair. I'm a bit short on money right now. Could you give me some? Sure thing, my friend. I can help you out. He flips a coin towards me. Oh my god, let's see if we can do this. It's a red check. I, oh, we can just let it fall on the ground and then really sadly pick it up again. But I guess it's sadder if you fail the catch. So let's do that. Ooh! Oh, I love it when they swallow. Appreciate it. No, I say nothing, just pocket the coin because fuck you. Always glad to help out the RCM. Wow! Shame I can't do more. Things are meager at the moment due to He nods towards the protesters. That was one real You know, the winter spot is slowly running out and all. Still better than scabbing though. Gotta spend money to make money. I you lost me there, aren't you? But it's okay as long as you're not a sorry ass scab. Looks at them in disbelief. Oh yeah, about the key. A key, huh? What door is this key supposed to open? Um, I I was hoping you could tell me. Of course, I got you. You don't know anything. Taps the side of his nose with a little wink. What is with this game and noses? I got that key right here, and let me tell you, it's mighty good of you to help us out during the strike. Working class solidarity, as they say. <laughs> I saw an opportunity and I took it. I'm hustle grinder. The count is for the locked door. You don't. You don't need to deal with head measure. I. Oh, I have dealt with him quite, quite completely and successfully. I can tell you, I am the head measurer now, and his babes are my babes. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm a hustle grinder. I heard something about the weasel, and it didn't sound like a local polar weasel, if you know what I mean. I wink. I'm not opening this door for myself, I'm opening it for all working men. Oh my god, like that's the communist option, isn't it? I'm not really doing this for political reasons. Wait a second, which of these is like the fascist option? <laughs> like if this is the communist one, and these are politically, po polit politically, uh, inclined? Is that the word I'm looking for? One? Uh, fascists are hus hustle grinders? <laughs> really? You can actually believe in one thing and defend the other political view? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Boy's oh, obviously centrist? Yeah, I'm not like a fence sitter because that hurts my ass. First is ultra-liberal. You're right, hustle grinders are liberal. So, let's just... Let's just be cheeky? Fascism is when you work hard. And party hard, and fuck hard, and like do everything hard. That's what fascism is about. Ask your local Italian. Many motto knows. So we go with like the the polar weasel, if you knows what I mean. Polar weasel? Oh, I know what you mean. I'm pretty sure he's actually occidental though. So you're gonna be committing fratricide, my racist friend. Oh, see, that was the racist option because Polar Weasel was a dog whistle for white guy. White guy, I'm not gonna kill no white guys. No, no, <laughs> I will kill every guy. <laughs> Ooh, I continue. What looking for is a basement door behind the greenhouse. That's behind the whirling in rags. That's all I know. Our organization is what you call compartmentalized. Means we keep out of each other's business. Okay, but where did you get the key from? The janitor gave it to me. Nice fella. Fucking Jennies. We talked about life and things that really, truly matter. His gaze wanders off into the distance. I bet the Jenny did it for free as well. Fucking hell, they always do. None of this mess we're in. This jiving and juggling. What's it for? To he doesn't. Children, oh. I guess. He doesn't wait for my answer. Neither did I. <laughs> Uh, anything else I should know about the task this weasel person when he'll be home? No, I just got it. I'm more of a philosophical dog worker, see. I like to talk about the big picture stuff. Yeah, I, I noticed. I am, who you are, what mm. we're fighting for. Takes a big sip from his flask. I, I don't care, I leave. Let's do this shit. Do this shit, Kim. Come with me on this journey to just steal someone. Steal from someone, even. We might steal this person as well. I, I haven't decided yet. A good old kidnapping might be kind of fun. Might spice things up, you know? Kuno, do you want to join in? We're about to enter someone's basement. This is not a euphemism. Could be kind of nice, you know? Quick saving. Wait, he said behind the greenhouse. Is that this then? Is this? No, that's not a door. How did I not see this before? 
The pile of etonite looks stranger now that Kuno told you about his pad. Oh my god. Well, if I do fuck this up, then I might as well delete myself. Why am I looking at this pile of the roofing material? Who has Kuno told me about the shack? Because unless Kuno lied, you should just be able to pull the panels aside. I pull them aside. There it is. You see a shabby little door. Oh my god, it's pretty nice. That's not where I'm supposed to go, is it? Hey kid, do you want to go into a basement? It's not sensible, doesn't it? So this is the Shaq Kuno mansion. Let's take a look inside there. I don't know what's better. Inviting a kid... Like, inviting the kid to a basement or, like, checking out the, the kid's shed. <laughs> Both might be. Just forbidden, to be honest. Alright, let's see. Again, this is not where I'm supposed to be, but... It's just another location, so I will. I might as well steal some shit from Kuno. Ever closer to my pants. Poster says, get out of the way or get fucked up. Actually, F-A-L-N slogan from an aggressive youth-oriented campaign. Silver plate with traces of bone yellow powder. Be still, my beating heart. It's amphetamine. Sweet amphetamine. What the fuck's wrong with Kuno? The lieutenant isn't studying the powder in the mirror. He's studying you. Which mirror? Uh, someone has taken narcotics here. Perhaps the police should interfere. I wasn't thinking about taking it. I swear I was thinking about justice. I've heard amphetamines make you a really good detective. Ah. Uh, you a really good detective? No, I'm just a regular detective. <laughs> um, someone, well, the police should definitely interfere. Perhaps not. This is below our pay grade, detective. However, points to the ladder in the corner. Well, you want to place snakes and ladders? See that ladder there? It's probably another way into the industrial harbor, no? The secret path the local kids use. Oh, oh yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh my god, did I fuck my chances to take the amphetamine? Cute pig's head looks mummified. Empty tube of mag magnesium and magnesium supplement. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I will finally get my loot. Love my loot. Always going to collapse soon. I don't care. A postcard. Restoration pillars keep the ruins together. Is there anything else we can do here? Oh, there's change on the floor. Oh my god, quite a lot of it as well. Uh, we're getting those pens today, guys. We're getting them. I can't wait. I can't wait to just splurge all my money on the pens instead of my rent. Not so fat. Mm, it's gonna be some sweet, sweet pants. Oh, so much money. How do I get down from here? It's our way into the harbor, but how? Hey, honey. It's, it's not really, is it? Huh? I mean, thank God I came in through the front door by punching like the big guy, but I don't really understand how this could have helped me. I forgot to cash in my check I don't I don't need to do this immediately do I like it's just like time gated we're gonna do so don't worry if you had the coat hanging you would have had a chance to jump down are you serious damn that's really thoughtful of the game doesn't appear because you already got there the normal way oh, that's kind of sad I don't like that at all. oh my god it's just free loot here how did I not see this shit Hey Kuno, I just got into your into your crib. It was very nice. I like the pig's head. Does Kuno care? Wait a second. The pants are not fifty. I thought the pants would be fifty. They're only fifteen. They're only fifteen. Oh my god! I could have gotten those pants last stream already. Kuno, I found your shack. I point to the shack. Yeah. Did you fuck in there? I I didn't fuck no one in there. Why are you asking? What's with the pig head? Oh, that. Kuno decapitates pigs. That's just a Kuno demo tape. Fucking epic, mate. Um, 
Cool, pig head. I liked it. I got one too. This one, I point to my head. It's shit. What? <laughs> oh, it's just young speak, Kim. Don't listen to it. Uh, what is this shit? Fucking on yourself. This is weird level shit. Kuno doesn't go there. Oh, you will. You will in time, Kuno. Don't worry. It comes with the alcohol, I think. Fuck your shit back to normal. What is this? <laughs> what with the tube of magnesium, I'm Kuno? It's a vitamin pig. Don't you know anything? Looks at you like you just pointed at the sun and asked what it was. I might as well. You could use some. It's magnesium, right? Yeah, it's the mag. You fucking need that shit to stay on top of your game. Kuno goes through like a tube a day, rips mag like a motherfucker, and you could use a bottle. I think if you take too much magnesium, you're gonna shit yourself. Oh, don't teach him, Kuno. He's gonna use it against you, Kuno. I know all about the magnesium. I rock it all the time. You're not getting this pig. It completely takes away the hangover. It's like you didn't do anything. Like you stayed home playing with your choo-choo. He looks at me, eyes bulging. My choo-choo? Fuck you, pig. Don't do mag. You're going to OD and you're going to fucking die. I found a plate covered with powder residue. Do you know anything about it? I'm not sure I want to ask him out on this, but we might as well. Do you know anything about it? That's where Kuno gets his daily hit of electric. Kuno Shazam. Nice. Kuno rides the fucking lightning in there, pig. Oh, he's the ancient king or whatever the Dark Souls 3 boss is called. Bet you'd like to ride the lightning too, wouldn't you? You feel tired and old, but you could have that sparkle in your eyes. Yeah, I've heard enough of this too. Good call, pigmeister. Don't come and talk to Kuno about his kingdom. So, Kuno, what about those fucking epic pants you promised me? Here, pig. We're fun now. Performance buddies. Kuno unsips his jacket again and pulls the pants out of the plastic wrapping. Oh my god, they're still wrapped. They're brand new. Thank you, Kuno. Kuno can already see you soaring through the air like a fucking eagle. Pig's in Kuno's debt now. Money debt. I gave you the money. I'm not. I'm. I'm in no one's debt now. Also, not got taste because fuck that guy. I'm off. Kuno Care. I end. Let's wear these immediately. Let's replace my minus Sever Fair plus one electrochemistry. These give me physical instrument and Sever Fair. Ooh, oh, they look a little bit. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. I, like, I. How comically tiny are my ankles? Let's undress. Can I run around naked, actually? Does this change anything? Oh my god. Like do, pe do do the people like Do the people acknowledge if I do this? <laughs> Fuck does Kuno care? The boy turns to me. He doesn't care. Okay, I'm off. Kuno doesn't Kuno doesn't fucking care. Let's talk to someone else. Move. Move, bitch. Move, we're gonna talk to Gate next. Actually no, let's talk to the gardener lady because I, I would love to arrest her for like insulting a cop. Hello again, officer. How are things? Brazy. Alright, let's talk to Gate then. Maybe he's recovered from... Wait, how do we enter here? Maybe he's recovered from, like, the Sylphie riding the cock carousel. Remember last time? That was kind of fun, wasn't it? Good old cock carousel. Oh, look! The... Are the... The, the finger magics here now? The people? Gate? Can I help you? Gate, I saw another thing at the whirling. Another thing. Great, nothing. Yeah. Nothing, actually. Goodbye. No one acknowledges me being naked. This is bullshit. This is just fucking bullshit. All right. Pretty good gear, if I say so, because we have, like, minus one rhetoric, and that's all. Could just take the, the head off, but that would lose us some reaction speed. That looks dumb. What the white satin shirt? Why are some of these gray and like these are white? Oh, oh, it's because it changes, I guess. That's what changes. All right. It's like highlighting if something changes. Okay, we're gonna say like this then. Um, let's check in the check. At my local Fritz. 
Do we want to check the door again, just real quick? Uh, was there any anything about the door? You see a heavy steel Try to push it again. Challenge. A pull on the door hard. Here we go. This didn't pop up earlier. The steel doesn't even tremble. I put my weight into it. Now you're hanging from the handle. The door remains immobile. Okay, it was a challenge, and you failed. What now, loser? I touch it. The cobalt blue surface feels rough to touch. We've, we've seen this before. <clears throat> is fresh with its frame on old cobalt paint, rough on the fingers. 40, 50 years since this was painted, maybe. I leave. Nothing new about the door then. Wait, what's that? Free money. It's free money. You can just take it. If someone leaves money around close to you, just fucking take it. It's their own fault. If they don't have it on the person, even then, it's free. Money is free. You, you just need to take it in the world. Just like everything else. Every single good. Or like any, anything you, you'd want really. It's free. Oh my god, we got a quest done. It's amazing. Also, we are really close to overcoming the communist part of my persona. Let's quick save again. Um, What was the Fritz again? The Frit? Wasn't it over here? Let's cash in the check. Let's get bribed fully. Hey. Um, is this about <clears> the questions <throat> again? Because I don't really know anything. It's not a magazine. You said I wouldn't want to fuck with Frit. Why? Because Frit has an army. Do they? She blinks at you, confused as to why you'd ask such an obvious thing. Hold on, an army? You mean like mercenaries ready to kill people? Yeah, like. 2000 or so. She says it as if it's completely natural. Why would Frit need an army? It's just a corner shop. I don't know. It stops people from robbing Frit, I guess. If they know there's an army, I mean, I wouldn't want to fuck with them anyway. Okay. Businesses often hire private security this side of the river. It's an unfortunate state of affairs, but not unheard of. But that's what the cops are for. You think the police, like, bother catching shoplifters? Frit polices themselves, so yeah. Anything else you wanted? You better behave yourself in this frit, or who knows what will happen. <laughs> I love his pronunciation. Frit. <laughs> I need to exchange this novelty check for cash. I give it a novelty check and gain 25 real. Uh, wow. I didn't know you worked for the union. I don't, I don't. She rolls up the giant novelty check, looks like she's seen it before, and slips it under the counter. Anything else I can do for you? Well, quite a few things. Worryingly, sir. Can I just counterfeit some? Blow the whole thing on speed and gin right now. Speed and gin. Great combo. Ask some local dealers, maybe. Hey, do you guys think Kuno could get me, like, started on gin? Hmm. What, can I... Can, can I buy something? Can I... What's that, actually? The tear machine stands in the corner. Oh! A sign yes, says, of course, it's a tear machine. Here we go. Into the machine and the 40 more cents. A satisfying jingle. You're a richer man now. What is the minor currency called? If the big one is called real, what is like the point currency called? What you should do with that money, kiddo. You should... We've had this before, electrochemistry. We had it before. Yeah, I would kill myself if I drank now, so... Kuno will probably do you the speed. He w wait, what? <laughs> we talk to my friend again, the racist man. Hey. Looking for something? I'm done. How do we? Wait, the behind the garden shed. A door behind the garden shed. What? How do I even get there? Oh, I need to get to, to like, where Kunu S is, right? Wow, how did I not check this out before? Oh my god, he was right about me running around all day. I think time might have stopped, actually. Someone somewhere rude about me. Do we, do we try this again? 
just an ordinary wall. No. No, no, no. no. Oh, it's this door. It's this door. Or is it this one? <laughs> Spattering of bullet holes. A balcony with view to the yard and the hanging. Interesting. Can we enter this? There must be another way into the building. Oh my god, Kim, that was so freakishly loud. Can we replicate that? I think he did the same last time. Fuck me, was I the only one hearing that? Would be creepy as fuck if it this if it was. It. The basement door is <laughs> Holy shit. The copper nails holding the upholstery in place have turned green from sea air, and there's a knocker shaped like a lion's head. I just used the key and unlocked the door as if I lived here. You try to be as silent as you can. It takes a bit of rattling of the handle to loosen the bolt. I open. Finally, the door unlocks with a small clack. Thoughts race through your head. I continue. Good job. Let's go now. I'm sure there's nothing interesting in there. You're taunting me. As you hold the open door, you can feel the air moving. A little draft. A whistle. I enter. A row of mugs sits on the shelf. <gasps> Each one depicts a human figure. A dark-skinned woman grinning amidst mysterious symbols. A broad-shouldered man shoveling potatoes and others. I tap on them and then I place my racist mug among them to see if he notices later. A little ring. Though cheerful, the images on the ceramic make you vaguely uncomfortable. Huh? The lieutenant picks up one of the mugs, then puts it back down with a look of disdain. Have we found our local racist? I'm beginning to feel better about breaking into this man's apartment. I whip out my yellow man mug and I compare. Yes, your broken mug friend would feel very much at home here. The same humor, the same mocking lines. There's the missing tin soldier. Whoever lives here might have used the whirling's container to dump his trash. He looks at the mugs next to each other. And now they've drawn the ire of the Union. The plot thickens, as they say. Perhaps you should break into apartments more often. I agree. Do you really think it's the same person who put the dead man's clothes in the trash? That would be a big coincidence. Who knows? I'm not expecting too much from this clothes in the trash lead either way. It might turn out to be some random local matter. But still, a nice coincidence. I don't think nice is the right word. I move on from them. Oh. Look at this. What's that? What are you looking at here? A free magnesium. Who knows gonna like that? A small suitcase full of clothes. Guests are staying over. Hmm. You can almost feel the warmth of the red sun on the flag. Oh, can I... No, wait, what? Where? Which country are we in? Whoever lives here admires fair-haired fantasy heroes with big muscles, and so do I. <gasps> An interi solari dress shirt. Is that a racist shirt or something? Is that what it's telling me? Pressed in spotless gleaming white shirt, the kind that serious men wear. At serious interi solari offices, not yet piss soaked or cum stained. Oh my god. I look nice. I look very nice actually would go well with my disco shit but no the mesh shirt it is no rather this combo yeah let's go for this one sounds gay wait what sounds gay who's gay a book titled the hidden world of walking sticks lies open that reference to something the hidden world of walking sticks Nothing else we can fiddle with in here. Are you serious? Did they get any money out of this? I'd rather ask you to open the basement door behind the greeners in the back. Intimidate the occupant. Do what you have to do. I'd rather just promise to give you info on the case in return. Where we run into... I assume the racist lorry driver lives here. Let's smoke up. There could be a witness. Talk to him. Oh, thank you. The game is telling me you've taken too long. Wait. What's that? The spread pattern of these bullet holes makes your chest ache. Your breath grows heavier. Why does Pain Threshold react to that? I examine closer. They peer into the faded marks in the stone. They peer back like an endless row of tiny black holes. 
Sweat starts trickling down your brow. Uh, will I suddenly realize that I did this? What? Your chest feels tight looking at them. It's closing What's in, happening? Caving in. Time to die to the wall? I'm not a woman. Your breathing grows even heavier. You okay there? The tenant's sudden voice cuts like a blade, bringing you out of the stupor. I breathe out sharply. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Man, I started feeling really bad for a second. Might be the after effects of your past escapades. What, what are you looking at? All the bullet holes. I've seen a lot of them around. Remnants from the revolution. These are over half really? a century old. No crime has happened here. Perhaps a crime of a sort ages ago. But no, these do not warrant an investigation. Oh, do I want the world building about the revolution or do I just want to say, nah, let's go. The lieutenant nods. <laughs> I think I decided very quickly. How do we get up there? How do we get to the balcony? How, how... I feel like I'm missing some shit here. Is it... Can you continue past here? I just didn't notice or... Have I entered this location before? Have I looted these? I haven't. What the fuck? Why not? What did you just say to me? Oh, don't worry. I'm gonna come up. A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment building. It's locked. I knock. The door rattles against your knuckles, but there's no response. I knock again. The door rattles again, but this time... You hear an elderly woman's voice calling out from inside. I knock again, even harder. Stop banging on the door. I'm not letting any more strangers inside. This is the law. Open the door. <laughs> the police. Everyone knows the police don't come round here. The hallway echoes with a cackle. Please let me inside. It's cold out here. I'm a fairy. No. I already told you. I won't be responsible for any more strangers getting into the building. Any more? She's the cleaning lady, by the way. Hack number four. Go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. She trails off, leaving the sentence unfinished. Backyard door. There must be another entrance to the east. Kim, tell her we're real policemen. Madam, I assure you, we are real police officers. Lieutenant repeats dutifully. There is no reply. Just faint sweeping sounds inside. I knock again. The door rattles. Stop banging on the door. Who am I speaking to? Who I am. Now go on, get Open the door. I'm not joking. Go check the door. Fuck you. Fuck you. Why did my... Oh, I have this still. Postcard depicts an ill-advised residential area overlooking General Quarter 13. Can we... Can, can I talk to you from here? The street Ooh. was red once more. A great torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. The girl stares at the sailboat by the pier. Hey, I kind of like the butterface look. Let me come up there. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I was tested for hep C. Hep, yeah, when were you last tested? Had a battery of tests just last week. I'm practically a patchwork of interesting critters. Kind of like a man o' war. Despite the attitude she puts the brush aside. Um, what are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aereo graffitio visible from low orbit. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. Um, you you don't know what to write? Have you ever tried your hand at graffitio? It's graffito. There's no I in there. Well, there is one, but not after the T. Well, Mona was there, though. We rarely see pigs around here, though. Just union cabs. And my name's not Mona, so... Yeah, admittedly, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, wh why are you so committed to defacing the building? This place is severely lacking in havoc. Not even the occasional trash can fire to break up the tedium. Maybe you should light one. I thought I'd mix it up. You know, summon the forces of crime and social chaos with a wall-sized invitation. I have an opinion on this. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. 
I love public art. Don't mind us. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to have to stop you. This is hooliganism. Actually, I don't have an opinion. I lied. Lying is cool, I guess. She absentmindedly paints a red streak on her left cheek. Uh, you keep looking off to the side. What are you, what are you looking at? The lieutenant is desperately searching for another handkerchief. What? Why is, why is Kim searching for handkerchief? She turns her head to face the coast and nods disdainfully towards Joyce, performing maintenance on her boat. Hatred? Disgust? It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. Um, yeah, both, I guess. The woman on the boat does not notice her steering. How could she? She's most likely already legally blind, judging by her age. That is on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Ozone? I think... I don't... I think we don't have that anymore, ever since the climate shit started. You mean Joyce? On a first name basis with her, are we? Piggy's moving up in the world. Hold on, what's Ozone? Isn't that like a... Like a boys band from the early 2000s or something? It's where they grow whores like her. And they're whore men. Yeah, I don't like her either. Pig's not half as dumb as he looks. She gives me a stately nod of approval of... Which I start growing a boner. Uh, do you know anything about the murder, actually? I ain't no snitch, Pigstein. I'm sorry, what Go did you call me? and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. But you're a woman. Catch you later, Cindy. Watch your back, ungulate. You've got eyes on you. Uh, what the fuck's an ungulate? I legitimately don't know, by the way. How do I get up there? I want to steal. I want to steal from this woman. Shit. Okay, uh, apparently we can talk to people on a different level of existence. So maybe we can do this as well. Hey! You see a young man on a balcony nursing a cigarette. His eyes have been following you for a while. Hey, you! You, I like your style, but you look a little bit, you know. I continue. Not looking for any trouble, officer. He says in a quiet voice, despite the cold, his shirt hangs unbuttoned on his frame. Why are you whispering? Sounds like you're already in trouble. No trouble from me. Just want to know what you, what's going on here. Too late, young man. Trouble's found you. Sorry, I don't have time for this. I just want to finish my cigarette and be gone. Shit, I think I fucked it up. It's the god of cigarettes and youth. Ask him if he's got anything to spare. Don't let him go. This could be your witness. The balcony has a great view of the whole thing. Uh, hold on, can I at least have a cigarette? Apologies, but this is my last one. Takes another drag and shivers. The god himself has denied you absolution. Can't you just, like, toss that one down? <laughs> really desperate of a cigarette. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Why? Shut up and throw, kid! <laughs> I'm not throwing anything. There's no way you catch that cigarette anyway. What, really? Yes, really. Don't even try. You'll just embarrass yourself. You're yeah, right, that was obviously a bad idea. Forget I said anything. As you wish. Takes another drag. Actually, the police really need to talk to you. I point towards Kim because I'm, I'm not the police, I'm the law. Is it really that important? He asks me, adjusting his shirt. Like a nervous cat, he keeps stealing looks at the neighboring windows. All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. By God, this young man has the body of a decathlete. His lithe form was practically made for vaulting over the high bar. I thought physical instrument was about to tell me that I could just pick him up and like fucking raw or something. He's the body of a decathlete. You could just use him as a disposable owner. <laughs> Son, do you train? <laughs> Occasionally. Why? Takes, takes another drag, filling his lungs with nicotine. Are you on the track team? He, he looks more like he's on the crack team, to be honest. No. I just like to look good. A light breeze pulls back a flap of shirt. I get it. Nothing wrong with looking good. Um... Am I, like, coming on to him by saying this? A shame young man like like you, with a body like yours, it'd be a credit to any track team. Want to join my track team? No. Nothing wrong with looking good. He gives you a honeyed smile before shaking off the cigarette ash. Can you tell me your name, actually? My name? 
My name is Martin Martinez. Nice name, Mr. Martinez. Martin Martinez. Good local name. <laughs> Let's go with that. I love how I failed on that check. Um, looks like you've got a good view of the Whirling's backyard, Mr. Martinez. Can you tell me anything about the hanging, Martin? I'd even go so far as to say that the view is a little too good, my dear gendarme. Do you have an estimate of when the body will be taken away? Well, I'm trying my best. We will remove the body as soon as possible. Now tell us, where were you last Sunday? They use the term twink these days? Does he? Yeah, he does look like a twink, doesn't he? Oh. You already asked me that, didn't you? <laughs> he waves lazily with cigarette. Did I? Did you? I look at Kim. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Did I? No, not you. It's a more muscular type. And when did you speak oh. to this more muscular gentleman? Lieutenant takes out his little blue notebook and writes something down. Last week? I don't know. Look. Looks around the courtyard again. Old patio. Pa patio? Or patio? Patio, right? Patio chairs and dead house plants litter the scene. You didn't answer the question. What were you doing last Sunday? <sighs> I had a friend over. What kind of a friend? Was it a boyfriend or? He was my Sunday friend. Oh. A Sunday friend. How intriguing. What's friend's real name? Did he see something? He doesn't reply. Gesturing no with his cigarette. Under the dull and darkening sky, the neighboring windows stand silent. Well, they're windows. They can't talk. Someone hides behind a curtain. Those windows have eyes, and those eyes are watching, spying on you three. All right, we'll talk later then. No. We won't. Takes one last drink of a cigarette before stubbing it out on the balcony. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to get going. Oh, he didn't like me bumming a cigarette? Well, fuck you then. Also, I, I'm not wearing my suggestion shirt today. I try my best anyway. I, I tried to convince him to stay. Please, don't leave me. This Heck yeah! Hmm... Who knows who might be watching from the distance, hidden behind the curtains. The gays, they love me. Hey, listen. I love you, boys. I'm just trying to make things okay again. Can we meet again somewhere else, maybe? For a moment, the man on the balcony seems almost vulnerable. Something moves in the depths of his feline eyes. Compassion and a hint of understanding. I am sorry, but I really don't have the information you're looking for. His voice is soft and deliberate. With a flick of his wrist, he sends the cigarette butt sailing over the rail. Catch it! But, <laughs> hold on. What's that? For a split second, his hand lingers, as though gesturing towards a stone placed right next to the front door. Oh, this should have been a check. This should have been like a reaction speed check or something. It's a sign. I think it's a suggestion. Good luck with the investigation. He walks away. Hey, he still has a cigarette. What the? Oh, here we go. Just struts away. Like a top model going up the stairs. In case you were unaware, the term twink specifically derives from Twinkie, which it's stuffed with cream. Let me put it that way. Very nice. He's gone. Lieutenant puts it away in his notebook and turns to you. We should run after him, see where he went. Well, you see, Kim, that's, that's how different kind of cops we are. You were looking into your notebook. I was... I was studying the witness. No point in running. Tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk to us, then he'll know how to hide himself. Ah, oh, you're right. Probably didn't have anything important to say anyway. He could be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. Either way, we need to look into that muscular type who's asking about our case. He did leave us a sign. Did you see that? Oh, he mentioned... Okay. He wanted to draw our attention to that stone right over there. Thank you, Kim. Yes, I get it now. You were looking at your notebook and at the witness. Lieutenant nods towards a small rock on a soggy patch of grass. If we find a way inside the building, we can ask around for his apartment. Great, let's do that. Let's talk, talk to the rock. Stone, like any other, lying in a whirl of sleet and mud. Maybe there's something under it. I turn it over. There's a key beneath it, rusty from the dirt. This must be for the front door. Pity he doesn't have the apartment number on it. This building has many apartments, and a man can be in any of them. 
How are we going to find the right one? We we knock on every single door. We'll just have to go in and see. Put the stone back. Okay, this is the key for the front door. So we're going to open the fucking door and scare the living shit out of this old cleaning lady. Hopefully having making her have a heart attack or something. A sheer heart attack. Yes, that's both. No, not a judge reference. Um, time for some ding-dong ditching. The fuck's that? Graffito says, says, a firing squad for the rich. I actually agree on this one. Foreclosed by Martinez Realty Associates. Oh, broken window. Waves crashing in the darkness. Shift in temperature. The air chills around you. Dust settles on the stony floor. I rub my sides. A former architect stands before a slice of window. A room plan in her hand. A cold wave has made the air in the building stand still and frozen, with temperatures falling down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Her face, her face, I want to remember her face. It's red from the cold. She's breathing on her fingers, clasping the plan. Traces of sadness are visible in her expression. The plan? Faint pencil lines on paper depict the same place, but a missing eastern wall connects the room with the neighboring apartment. Ideas for arranging the furniture have been jotted down. I look around myself. It's clean and empty, with new tapestry embellishing the walls. A standard HB graphite pencil has fallen off a three-legged stool in the middle of the room. Oddly specific. I shiver and finish my thought. It's a shame the music in this game is, can be kind of interesting. Can we bump it up as, as much as we can? Oh, that's better. Can you hear the music, guys? Someone has torn down the wall. Old grocery list on the table and checks. <gasps> Money! Oh, here we go. Is that... Can I... Please? I want to talk to the, to the hooker lady. First, I need to loot. Then I'm gonna loot. Bet she doesn't expect me just suddenly coming up here, does she? Those locked, you can't get in. Oh, wait a second. Wow, that was a lot of money. That's another way ins Oh! Well, what the fuck is that? Enough coal to last for several winters, smells of chemicals. I don't think that's enough to last for several winters. That's not a lot of coal. Someone's been sleeping here recently. <gasps> New pants! But I already got some shit and they have like a minus check. Or rather minus um, attribute thingy. Oh, they look good too. They look good. Although these jeans look worn, the wearer must have had an ass given to them by the mighty lord himself. The beautiful peach-shaped man ass has imprinted itself so deep in the fabric. You can't but wonder if wearing them would start molding your own vague rear side into a more shapely form as well. Damn. <laughs> really admiring it, apparently. Ooh! The fucking mother load! Five real! Why was this one blue, actually? Why was this intactable object blue? Is there a difference between blue and green intactable objects? It's 9 p.m. Sleep is advisable. No. Sleep is for the weak. Played Frostpunk. We know the ways of cults. That's right. We just burn our children. Ooh. The piggies have learned how to saunter up staircases. I didn't think you could do that with hooves. But here you are. Are you in trouble now, little lady? Yes, Uncle Maynard. Huge trouble. You're going to take out your metal detector and your collection of bottle caps and shrapnel. Actually, I collect just bottles for tear and pants. That smell coming from her paint bucket. It's not paint. It's heavy fuel oil. Is that heavy fuel oil? <laughs> I feel like... Oh my god. Um, Raphael has like a heavy case of autism. He just needs to say whatever is on his mind. Red dyed heavy fuel oil intended for exclusive use in government vehicles, to be precise. 
He says, studying the contents of Cindy's bouquet. What did you think I was using? Aquarelles? Sucked it out of a cop's fuel tank myself. Back in Jamrock. Damn, girl, you must have, like, a nice set of lungs. Uh, fumes are bad for you, okay? Uh, you bet that's some clever cop. <laughs> fumes, are fumes are bad for you, okay? Something to think about next time you're driving around in your pretty little piggy carriage. Is that bad in the cold room yours? Ooh. Not only have you found my address, you've discovered my biggest secret. I'm a coal miner. Damn, I would... I you know what? I would love to just shovel coal all day. I, th I think that would be my legitimate dream job. I would just love that. On an old steam train or something, just shoveling coal, uh, singing shant. Do you sing shanties on a train? What do you sing on a train? When, when you shovel the coal? Like, is there a specific term for that? Shanties are like for the sea, aren't they? But I would just love to do that, like 24 hours a day. I don't care about any breaks. Uh, really? You're a miner? Are you, are you a miner? You need to tell me if you're a miner before I hit on you. Yes, I keep hoping a shaft will collapse on me, but somehow it never happens. Don't you have a real home? <laughs> Don't you have a real home? <laughs> Does anyone in a city like this? She replies wistfully, looking around. It's not the nicest place, but I guess it'll have to. It doesn't have to do anything at all. Nothing does. Oh, she's really ni nihilistic. Right now, I'm doing nothing at all. Nothing at all? Cool, I have other questions. Shoot, piggy. It's what you do, isn't it? Uh, there's nothing else then. See you. Catch you later, Cindy. Catch you later. Smell you later. See, see as well. Like nothing at all. Nothing at all. How many more Simpsons references can we get today? <laughs> Dental plan. Can you interact with the jeans? I don't think I... I don't think I can. No. God ass. Hindsighted goddess. Wait a second. Are these her jeans? But they are poor Lom. So they are like four men. Was she filling out men's jeans? Really? There are some things we haven't interacted with yet, I think. When I say some things, only one thing, which is this. And I don't really want to interact, interact with a book. Should have something about them. Doesn't seem like it. Maybe I can wear them, talk to her, see if she acknowledges them. Oh, here we go. The pockets of these new jeans are perfect for sticking your hand into. Makes you look cool, calm, and collected. As your hand enters the pocket, your fingers brush against something. Soft, yet crinkly. Holy shit, Emma, your memory must be impeccable. I take the item out. Hey, it's a chewing gum wrapper. It reminds you of the fruity juice of apricots. You should inspect it closer if you have time. Something about the wrapper's texture is familiar. Oh, I love them fruity juice. Not familiar in a good way, you might say. There's pain in there somewhere. Uh, well, I have my magnesium ready to just help myself from killing myself. A gleaming chewing gum wrapper found in the pocket of the laborer jeans it gives off an ever so faint scent of apricot. Your mouth starts watering. A crinkled chewing gum wrapper. The worn label reads Tutti Frutti. Oh, I love Tutti Frutti. It smells faintly of apricots with a barely noticeable twinge of cinnamon. I love cinnamon. Oh, fruit and cinnamon is like, that is the holy grail of combined, like, um, combinations. Full stop, right? You could say that men and women. That is the best combination. Or like, I don't know, um, Coke and Jack Daniels. That might be the best combination. No, no. It is cinnamon plus any fucking fruit. Why do we even care about this? Good question. There is no answer or secret phrase written on the inside of the wrapper. Yet you're drawn to it. Drawn by regret. Stop before you hurt yourself with a Tutti Frutti wrapper. Throw it away, please. I'll hang on to it, just in case. You carefully fold the wrapper into a square before putting it back into your pocket, lovingly even, despite the strange feeling of regret. I guess my ex-wife was, like, chewing them. Huh? Nothing came off this. <laughs> the best combination is me plus money. Wait, 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 why, why am I stepping out? I wanted to test the pants on her, but I guess there is no interaction with it. 
People don't really seem to recognize what I'm wearing. So let's talk to the old lady. Give me a moment. Elderly woman is leaning on a broom, her knuckles white as bone. She seems to, have to be having difficulty breathing. Knock the fucking broom out of her hand for being disrespectful to the police. The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. <laughs> she sneezes into a dirty handkerchief. Are you right? Should I call for a doctor? This won't take long. I only have a few questions. Go ahead then. What do you want to know, policeman? How does she know I'm a policeman? But earlier she didn't let me in. Fucking bitch. I'm looking for Martin Martinez. Oh, you'll find plenty of Martins here. Don't you worry. She smiles a gap tooth smile when she hears you mention the name. What do you mean? I, I wasn't joking or... No, you don't understand. I'm looking for a real person named Martin Martinez. He told me he's Martin Martinez. Pea brain. Someone played a trick on you. Martin Martinez is a name for anyone who comes from Martinez. Like Jim Jambrock or Raoul Ravagel. Oh, like Dieter Deutscher or... Um... M.A.L. American. <laughs> Uh, where can we do but like Fin Finland or what can we do about the UK E England let's go with England Emil England uh, F French French France France Fuckhead France <laughs> I for Italy um Irene, Italy. Oops. You really didn't get the joke there. <laughs> I failed the rhetoric joke a second time. I thought it was obvious. Anyway, officer, we don't have the witness's name. Who are you? Who, who are you? I'm no one. Just an old woman who cleans these hallways. Do you live here? Do, are you doing it for free? If you can call it living. Is she Jenny? I have a little oh my god. Room. Upstairs, right next to the coal room. She spits on the floor before wiping it off with a broom. I, what, 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 what? It's barely bigger than a closet. But I don't complain, no. I have my bed and my aching bones to keep me company. And that's all I need from this world. Kim, can we legally shoot her to put her out of a fucking over-dramatized misery? And all she gets. The coastal wind beats down hard on the coal room door outside. Splashes of waves make the balcony slippery. So it's only a matter of time until she slips and just fucking breaks her neck. How about a young male in his mid-twenties dark hair skinny built? It looks like a real twinkie. Smoke on the balcony, you know where he lives? Yes, yes. I know who you mean. The scrawny boy who's always smoking like the devil, right? Looks at the other end of the hallway. Somewhere in the building. A child starts crying. You hear a radio tuned to a talk show and someone taking a shower. Are we in America? Are these walls paper thin? How, can, how the fuck can I hear a shower? What's he in trouble for? Wanted for murder. He's going away for life. <laughs> He's actually not wanted for murder. We just want to keep his oh, I love this. I love the fact that the game just lets me do shit like that. The cleaning lady starts laughing, but it turns into a violent coughing spasm. Squeeze her broom, trying to catch her breath. He lives upstairs in room 28. Go to the balcony. It's one of those doors there. He's usually home in the evening. Points east. Well, it is the evening right now. Thank you. We should go check out his apartment on the balcony. See if he's home. I have a few questions. Ask away, policeman. You know who lived in the foreclosed apartment? There's a hole in the wall, the abandoned apartment. A hole? Oh yeah, the hole I entered through. Like the the hole I entered to the bathroom. Now what can I, what can you tell me about Cindy? Like the the minor hooker. The artist. Artist. Nothing I can do about her. I'm afraid. She ruins the walls faster than I can clean them. Still. Leans on a broom. She leaves an old lady to her business. More than I can say for others. Okay. What about the hole? Some lunatic lost his mind. All kinds of morons pass through these halls. Including me. Do you know who lived in the foreclosed apartment? What the hell am I supposed to know? Another nut job, I assume. She really doesn't like those nut jobs. Bad blood there. Yeah, I don't like her either. That's all, thanks. She mumbles some kind of a response. Then hacks something into her handkerchief. Thanks, I'm off. 
Game would be better if it let me kill everyone I, I see. Like, or rather anyone I see. Apartment number 8, the mailbox is overflowing. Check it. Ah, <gasps> more money. Door to 9 is locked. But I can take a postcard. Why I- why- oh my god, what the fuck is with the insane amount of money suddenly? Look at my- look at my balance! Why are some interactable objects yellow, others are green, and some others are blue? Are these like skill checks that I have to pass to even find them? You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. A knock. The walking stops abruptly, but no one comes to the door. A knock again. A poor communard from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than a closet. I'm sorry, this is not what it said. This time the steps come closer. Who is this? Demands a female voice, very intense. Oh my god, I could just fucking leave, which would be creepy as hell. I can also say, this is the law, open up. Do I have? You hear the clanking of heels again as the other side walks right up to the door. The tone is now getting a defensive edge. Do you have a warrant? I'm not obligated to open the door if you don't have a warrant. Let's go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. Well, you say we don't, but I do. Later then. Entering this door seems a physical challenge. I like your thinking, physical instrument. I like your thinking. <gasps> Can I steal some boots? No. Why is there money in the boots? I only found it by sniffing. Someone has drawn a five-pointed star on the wall. As in... Uh, I know, it's like a Satanist star, which... It's all the same, isn't it? This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk-drawn number on oh. the wall says number 11. I examine it. It's a solid lump of metal, but the shackle is deeply corroded. A solid pair of chain cutters would make short work of it. Time for a little snip snip and I do the hand scissors. You seem committed snip, snip. to it, so go on. I, I could fuck this up. Can we knock first? No reply. Okay. I used the chain cutters to cut through the padlock. What are you? How the fuck? You're trying to cut the body of the lock with the chain cutters and it's really... <laughs> I'm retarded! How did I do this? I rolled the double one! Oh my god. I believe it's the shaker. There's 10 points to the corroded loop with a glove finger. Did you think that's what I'm trying to do? These chain cutters are broken, Kim. Have I fucked it up? Perhaps you should give it another go. Okay, Kim pointed out the shackle. The shackle oh, thank God. Like a twig, and the lock falls <laughs> to the floor. The oh, my God. Floor. It should be possible to enter now. After you, detective. He doesn't say that we don't have to enter this. He just, he humors me on this one. All right. A plaster cast bust depicts a middle-aged man with impressive sideburns. The name on the plinth reads Kras Mazov. Plaster cast bust is like a very specific combination of, of, of words that still make a lot of sense. Uh, Kim, who is this Kras Mazov? He's known as the father of scientific communism, also known as Mazovianism. His theories about economic history greatly influenced, some would even say sparked, the anti-centennial revolution. Oh my god, I could salute the statue. But a mass of the hero of the working class, which I won't do. Can I destroy it somehow? Why does this tenant have a bust of Kras Masov in the in a bedroom? The white star, the photos on the wall. I think we have broken into the apartment of a young communard. How fitting. Looks around before mumbling to himself. Why is this fitting? I leave. Can I... Trash the apartment. Photos of revolutionaries posing with guns. Books of critical theory on the monstrosities of capital and such. We can steal from him at least. A 9mm bullet and a Ceremerisian cer lounge jacket. I'm not gonna wear a Ceremerisian lounge jacket because I'm, I don't wear none of this foreign shit. But we're gonna check it out nonetheless. What will it replace my RCM patrol cloak? Oh shit, it looks good though. Oh fuck, it looks so good. Oh, I look... Man, my swag is unreal, isn't it? It's like the over-exaggerated swag of a black teenage boy, isn't it? 
Oh, I love that. Wait, we can check out the stars. Well, wow. cop breaking into a communist room? How is it not fitting? What if broken into it if it was a cop or not? Flamboyant poster of a white star. Real lith lithography. I guess it's the term. Nope. <gasps> Flip up glasses. <laughs> What are my current glasses doing? Minus one drama. I could get minus one authority. For more logic. Nah, I kind of like these, to be honest. Box is filled with cleaning chemicals. Smells of laundry detergent. Eviction notices the missing pants are plastered on top of each other. Old shoe rack. Boots, sneakers and old slippers. Can I sniff them? Apartment number 12, a loud rumbling snore comes from within. Snoring is scary somehow, you should leave. Really? Can I break into it somehow? Can I find out who's snoring? Ooh! Ooh! Muggle. Shower curtains are covered in some sort of slime. What am I doing now? Why am I running on... What the fuck was that? more money is this the front door I assume oh the back door rather okay the back door should now be unlocked good man sees a five pointed star and assumes satanist how the times have changed I actually made a cheeky uh, doesn't matter maroon glow of light pollution rise from the east Near distant traffic, night is falling on the city. Breaker box full of cigarette butts and electric wires. Also, more stuff to loot. Pretty sure I was. Can I not loot this box? I don't know. Okay. What, what, wait, 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 what about this? I'm sure, there must be a key hidden under this planter. Someone's grossing rosemary, thyme, and a cactus. Shove it up their ass. Holy shit, we made so much money today! Just a door, nothing for you here right now. Not even a creepy Kim voice. What's connected with Kanoa's side quest? The door to apartment number 29. Complete silence, whoever lives here isn't home. Which apartment was she telling us about? Is made of metal 28. To be reinforced. Someone here really values their security. Number 28. This is where the cleaning lady said the smoker on the balcony lives. Let's see if anyone's home. Knock on the door. Wait, give me a second. There's another door to check out here first. Door to apartment 30. Voice from within. Singing along to some buoyant dance track. Okay, let's knock on this one now. This door, number two. Let's see. No one answers. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think you really think so? To catch him this in the evening. Looks around, taking in his cold spring air. It is uh, literally the evening. We should return tomorrow after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? It is after 9 p.m. What do you mean? The smoker on the balcony. This is why we are here, right? He might know something about the murder. So tomorrow, 9 p.m.? I don't think I can make it. It's all right. We don't have to be here 9 p.m. sharp. I just need to write something down in my notebook. Already opened a little blue book. Tomorrow evening, right here. Apartment number 28. Good, let's go. What if what if you unlock this very late? Damn. Does it no always take at least a day? Tricky finding someone in a big apartment building. Don't worry. You'll get him. Remember, tomorrow. He's probably gone for today. Shit. Locked off the scary snoring is connected to Kuno. Or might must be Kuno's dad then. Can we ask him about it then? Like otherworldly advice you've given me here, but can we access Kuno from here? Can we talk to Kuno S. Trying to sneak up on me again? Trying to snuff me out? Get away, pig! No. Can we just shoot him? Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. There you go. In the dimming light, some things become clearer, and Cindy's artistic impulse are infectious. 
We can we can try just just once with some more conceptualization. We have plus two now. Is this cheating the system if I do it like that? Just an ordinary wall. Eight percent now. See here. You have no Shit. clue. It's just a wall. So many walls all over Martinez, weather worn, cracked, their paint peeling. I leave. Then I wear my a regular shit again. No, wait, wait. It was the white satin shit. Was it? Kind of. No, this one. This one. The racist shirt. The inter interi solary. Why is the sun like considered racist in this game? What do we do next, actually? We have, like, time for one more task or something. Um, I need to progress the plot first. People often get new topics as the game progresses. Smoke on the balcony is telling me that I can do it another day. Um, Gauthier has told you some unruly union men gather in the mass hall of the Willing and Rags. They're not here today, but most likely they'll eventually show up. Keep an eye out for them. Ask Kim to tell you about the case. I did this before. Where's the rest of the armor? Ask Kuno what he knows. We did so. Find booze and drink it. We also did that. We're on the active quest, aren't we? Getting the body down. Oh, oh well, we, I guess we can report back to Evrad, right? Then we opened the door and cleaned out the apartment. Nice and tidy. He buttons up the nicer shirt all the way and ties his tie properly. I think the tie is just attached to it. It comes with the territory. Can we tell Manana that we did the task as well? We... we could also talk to this guy. Let's see if we can talk to him, tell him that we opened it up actually. Went native on the chief, huh? Those ballerina antics were reckless. Should have just punched him in the throat again. Wrong. You did the right thing with Measurehead. The ballerina antics won you the fight. I absolutely agree. Let's talk about our Okay, nothing new with him. Yes. Manana? Let's talk. Hola, wandering man. How can I help you? Uh, a weasel I visited. Turns out he has a one hell of a colonial mug collection. Yeah, the janitor who gave me the key to his apartment said the guy's a bit of an asshole. What? Asshole? See how we're all busy concentrating on the racist mugs? That's what the ruling class wants. A man with such a funny mug collection can't be that bad. All I'm saying is he had a lot of mugs. His mug collection certainly represented antiquated social values. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sure this is like a communist view because it's talking about the ruling class. But at the same time, I do agree that this is what they want. They want us to focus on why we hate each other. So I'm somewhat inclined to pick this, but I know that I'm going to get a, a communist point for this one. So I'm going to say that a man with such a funny mug collection can't be that bad. I don't know about that. Anyway, like I said before, Bossman said that Weasel's not a friendly boy. So, thanks for helping out. Leave. It's clear you like the hard stuff, Broto. Broto? <laughs> what? What's my lower intestine going on about? Lower intestine? The term is metabolic and circulatory system. Okay, but what's the hard stuff? Fascism, Broto. Ooh! Um, what is fascism, though? Many things, but it's mostly about trusting your gut. Is it? Who does your gut tell you is the source of Rivershot's problems? Foreigners, financiers, leftist acadi ac ac academician, <laughs> which is a fucking... The irony that I can't read this word right off the bat. Oof. Um, liberals? I thought you were my circulatory system. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's the who's the root of our problems, guys? What do you think? Can I get some opinions in the chat right now? Just to see if you guys are still like there or not. If, if you're like zoned out, tuned out, or if you just fucking killed yourself. This vulgar display of not even power but just hopelessness. Eat the rich. Yeah, I would go with financiers as well. I think I think they are actually the problem, okay. Me, I'm the evil max. All of them? Emil with the sensible option, which I'm not given here, of course. 
But the question is, is this not a circulatory system? I'm not, I'm not sure. I kind of want to give him what he wants, you know? I want to give him a straight answer. Like, there's no joking around in this one. I do think that the banks and whoever is behind the banks, uh, these are the problems, you know? Yes, them, but also... Is he, is, is he going to get me through the entire list? Wormen? Wormen? Wormen. Men of Wur. You don't like them. They're insane. Their idiocy needs to be scrubbed off this world with rubbing alcohol. Woo men need to go back to the fucking kitchen. Heck yes! <laughs> That's what fascism boils down to. The really? It's also important. But the main thing is that woo men need to know their place. Mm, I'm not sure that's the definition of fascism, to be honest. I mean... You think... Does fascism really... Fascism doesn't hate women. Fascism thinks that there's a place and time for everyone. And a certain place and time. Especially, I guess. And the place is the kitchen and the time is... Any time. But it's not, it's not a negative thing, is it? Am I having some kind of stomach seizure? <laughs> Stomach truth. You're having a stomach truth. Why am I getting this? Because you've said the hard things that others won't say. The good things. You've said them many times. So can anyone... Just off topic here. Or maybe on topic a little bit. Can anyone tell me why the developers of this game thought that metal umlauts would be fascist? Like, what's fascist about metal umlauts? Fascism sounds so bad, though. Like, what if we called it something else, like a traditionalism? That's a good point. Okay. Yes. Let's call it that. Good thinking. I like traditionalism, actually. Okay, Stomach. I've made up my mind about fascism. I proceed to the judgment. You're going to keep your vues, right? Keep your vues, Brota. I will keep my vues for the glory of the Revsholia nation, I opt in. Absolutely not. Not going to be played by an upset stomach. Opt out. Mm, was German the... We don't even have that many umlauts. You expect an amnesiac alcoholic to know what fascism is? It seems very clear that my body is not amnesiac. It's just my head. And there is a space and red pill, literally. <laughs> okay, I will keep my vows. For the nation, smart. Best not to mention the woman too often. That's why you're the head and I am. Stomach. No, fascism is about industry and politics and nationhood, not women. Absolutely okay with women. I pet my stomach. Okay. Um. The Masovian socioeconomics is what I what I unlocked with the communism thing, right? I'm not gonna go into that one. Rather, I'm gonna go into the Revolutionary nationhood, which is gonna give me minus one composure while I do it. But they fuck this place. Revachol is in ruins. The Koshkos and the Kipts and the Armatures with the desert pygmy magic spinning tops. They fucked it. RNGs, liberals and Vespertine moneylenders too. They're all socialists, especially the women and the Kipts. You have only a vague idea what this means, but it's clear that a good strong state must be erected upon the ruins if any of us are to have a future. The shadowy outlines of the state start forming every time you close your eyes. Eyes. I internalize this so hard, brothers. I internalize it so, so hard. <laughs> How fascist is German as a country? Well, we're not fascist at all anymore. Like, it is like, we, I think we'd need some to balance it out these days. Just a little bit. You know, because we're like, we're so afraid of being just slightly right-leaning in politics it's incredible like even our most right right-wing politicians are, are still might be still be, oh my god look at the amount of bottles might still be con uh, considered left-wing in some other countries it's fucking crazy like the, the collective guilt upon german people that is instilled from an early age Wait, it's not even where I need to be. How do I get to Everard again? Here. Here. 
Okay. Let's see if we can talk to the thingy magic -y. Someone had a binge here. <laughs> That's more than a fucking binge. Okay. I need to level up my Thoric. Just just once, I guess, to unlock the skill point again. Uh, the, the, the check again, rather. Why do I have... Oh! I didn't know I could do that. Can we talk to Jojo, whatever his name was? What's her name again? Honest Joe? Oh, hey, Easily Leo. Okay. I'm off. Oh my... Let's talk to everyone. Ten years from now, Germany will return back to fascism. Instead of red and black, it will be green. It would be the worst thing to happen to us, I think. Red and black are kind of nice colors, aren't they? Mr. Dubois, oh my god. As always. You don't have to sit down this time, since you've already sat on that chair. Here you go, guys. I went through the hazing ritual. Don't have to do it again. Um, I opened the door. You asked me, can we discuss the murder now? Yeah, I guess. I'm very glad to hear wow, Jerry. the experience. One question. You didn't actually happen to stumble in and see what's inside the apartment, did you? I may have gone inside and seen a collection of racist mugs and stolen like a nice shirt. I did go inside. He had the glorious flag of Revachol, the suzerain on his wall. The weasel is no true patriot, Harry. He prays every night for the downfall of the Union and spits upon the name of the king. I can fascism and monarchism be combined, actually? Now let's get down to brass tacks. It's time for men like me and you to figure out who's killed who and why. Real police work is going to start happening now. I promise you, Harry, this is going to be good. He sounds a little bit like Kuno. Uh, it was a collection of colonial mugs there. I found a similar mug in the trash with the hangman's clothes. Do we want to tell him about this connection? He said the lynching and the strike are related. How? By now, I'm sure you figured out who the dead man was working for. The bad guy. Oh yes, I've, I Wild figured it out. Sent to scare us. Another violent measure of the top hats against us black caps. Yeah, yeah, I figured it out. What do you mean, though? Harry, this strike is the culmination of many, many mistakes made by the Wild Pines group. They tried to shut the strike down by sending in armed mercenaries. You mean our victim? A security contractor. Can you imagine that? Workers standing in peaceful protest, united in the spirit of fellowship. And they send hired killers to mow us down with machine gun fire. So that's not a freaking beast to me. I'm talking beasts. Hardened killers from proxy wars in Yisut, Seminine, Salamoritsa. You name it, they've done it. Raping, killing, burning villages, killing little children for the Senorita Pineapple Company, Harry. Those Senorita Pineapple people are scary motherfuckers. Decimating your state if you don't give them your pineapples. <laughs> what? Everything they did there, they brought over here. What they, they always do. Into a third world we can't have that. Honestly, the only thing they didn't do is kill the village elephant. Hold on, do you have a village elephant? No, Harry, the elephant is metaphorical and so is the village. But the mercs and their brutality are very real. Go on then. Now, I haven't personally witnessed the brutalities out there. I have the luxury of staying in my container, you see. If I need to go somewhere, they just move my container. Really? Wait, they move the container? Yes. I'm an old man, Harry. My legs aren't what they used to be. They lift my office with that big crane. It's actually very fun. You should try it. Being moved or moving your, your office? But enough about me and my fun container. The killers the company hired, I think there were three of them. All hardened commando types. One of them got downright suicidal, getting drunk, violent, a little rapey. Even their own negotiator couldn't control him. That's your boy, the one who likes hanging out and trees. <laughs> okay. By negotiator, you mean Joyce? Harry, what you need to realize is, we dock workers are not pushovers. We got grit, Harry. This whole <clears> neighborhood <throat> does. 
push us hard enough and we push back. And when we do, we push to kill. He raises his finger. An entire neighborhood of killers. Oh, this is getting really interesting. I'm enjoying this a lot. Wait, the whole neighborhood is in on it. Potentially, Harry. Potentially. We got arm wrestling champions, rowing club people, ex-coal miners, tough guys, all ready to spring into action for their home base. I'm not sure they love it here so much that they would kill someone. But who exactly did the pushing? There's a militant wing inside the Union. A group of people whose duties don't involve manual labor, but peacekeeping in the neighborhood, making sure everything runs smoothly. So wait, on which side is he on? He's not on the on the side of the Union, is he? Wait, why would he tell me that? That they killed this guy? They're like you guys. <clears throat> Idealistic people who want to make sure bad things don't happen. And if they already have, well, punishment must follow. So these idealists killed our victim? Hmm. One day Titus Hardy, leader of this peacekeeping faction, comes up to me and says, Boss, socialist democratic fervor drove us to take it upon ourselves to kill this beast that was burdening the land. Mm, that's not, that doesn't sound like something a person would say. It sounds like you're trying to incriminate this guy. He probably worded <clears throat> it differently, but that was oh, okay. the idea. Okay. Sure sounded to me like they killed him. I gave them two weeks paid leave and told them to lay low to avoid retaliation. Oh, that's what Easy Leo was talking about, actually. Aren't you worried we might arrest them for this? Oh, I'm not at all worried about that. These are not the kind of men who get arrested. They're Martin A's boys, tough and gritty. I'd like to see the man who takes them in. Besides, I sent my lawyer girl to look after them. My lawyer girl? You mentioned the lawyer girl? Oh, Liz is a bright one. I paid for that law degree myself, thinking it'll probably turn her all fancy. But hell, Harry, she came back a firebrand socialist. Sometimes she scares me with her zeal. Oh, I love breaking them. Uh, there was a collection of colonial mugs here, found a similar mug in the trash. How do you know the mercenaries were hired by the shipping company? Tell me about Titus Hardy. How do you know they were hired by them? How do I know? <clears throat> Let me tell you about these people. That's their careful, MO. careful, you can't say that. What they do. Oh, okay. Last winter, some poor workers in Terminal E went on a little strike. The company sent in Sediment, a security contractor. The strike was over the workers' right to wear protective footwear, Harry. These guys turn up and start beating people. Tell you what, Harry, I wouldn't be surprised if we got the same mercenary company after a little rebranding. And I'm sure as hell not surprised to see an army of scabs under my gates. So you believe the scabs were organized by the security contractor? That seems to make sense, right? Because of the leader of the scabs. You said it. Hell, one of those guys looks big enough to <clears> take <throat> down that proverbial elephant. Boys like that don't just happen to show up during strikes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Titus Hardy. Oh, they are simply fine young men. All seven of them. Exemplary union members. Always working to advance their position in the local socialist democratic movement. <laughs> Core members. Old Theo used to run them, but things really kicked into gear when Titus took the reins and named the group after himself. <laughs> Gotta love his initiative. Interesting. Who's second in command? They're almost all of them great guys, born leaders. Whatever happened, I'm sure they only had the best interests of Martin A's and Revachol in mind. Work with them. Hell, interview them. But don't fight them. They really are just like you. Men who like beer women and some order on the streets where can i find them the union booth in the whirling was empty you know what harry i got a feeling they're gonna show up in full force tomorrow okay as so i couldn't do that today the lieutenant marks something in his notebook in the future I could use your backing can you ask the hardy boys to co cooperate but of course it's the least i can do for my good friend harry i'll do it right after we've concluded this talk when you meet this titus Tell him about this. See what he has to say. Oh, very nice. Also, Harry, here's five real. Um. Wait a second. Um. Do I just take them? <laughs> Wait, for staying anything, or do I ask why he's giving them to me? Of course, I just take it. 
The lieutenant watches you pocket the banknote. He looks a little puzzled. Man, if someone's handing you free money, it's not them bribing you. It's them being retarded, okay? Good boy. A real team player. Now, do you have any more questions? No. Let's conclude for now. I'm not going to tell him about the race my collection. Was it a good tour? I'm not sure we made much headway here. I was hoping we'd bust the case wide open. Heck, I even wanted to tell you what I really want to achieve with the strike. Why don't you just... I don't well... know what happened, Harry. I wanted you to feel like Mr. Martin A's. And, of course, I also wanted you to find your gun. But it's like I can't completely trust you. Yet. Okay, he's playing a game here. Great sadness comes over him. Yes, Yet. Harry, it's like I can't fully trust you if you're not a man of the left. I want to, but I just can't. I will never be a man of the left. I'm so sorry. He's been hurt too much in the past by men who aren't social democrats. I'm not a man of the left. I'm a patriot of Revachal. You're right not to trust me. I take care of me. I'm a hustler. I grind. I'm a money engineer. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I'm more left than you are? It's another corrupt scheme, isn't it? I'm neither left nor right. I do what my heart has me to do. No, no, no. I'm a patriot of Revachal. Just between us, I don't care for those lefty dinks either. It's all about power, and here's how we're going to get it. I need you to be my Kingsman, Harry. Kingsman? Yes. Please, let's be that. And what would this entail? Once again, I require nothing unethical or illegal of you. You just need to get two little signatures on this piece of paper, and then mail it to my accountant in La Delta. That's me. <clears throat> Kim, what do you think of this? What are the signatures for? I'm glad you asked, Harry. The Union is going to build a modern youth centre in Martinez. It will be righteous. We're going to get those teenagers off drugs and on roller skates. A roller skates are the devil, though. Roller skating. Not drugs, Harry. You like this. But I don't. There's a nameless <laughs> little street on the coast with some old houses around it. Most people have already signed. I just oh. need two more signatures to get this mission off the ground, Harry. Oh, where is this place exactly? Is it where we were just now? On the coast, Harry. Across the canal. There's a cul-de-sac there. A little village, they're calling it. A gloomy place. You'll find it. I trust your detective skills, Harry. Water drips from the eaves. A woman looks at her freshly tarred skiff. There's a pair of cavalry boots under the fish in the box, and the wind howls like a vicious spirit. What will happen to the current occupants? They are just going to have to deal with the construction noise for six months, and then they'll be living like kings. Right next to a fancy new youth centre designed by the best architects from Stella Marie. Kim, what do you think? It depends. I don't think what we just got from Mr. Claire was very useful. He studies him. But, he thinks, it's your call. As I said, it weighs on me heavily. But once we get really talking, well, I'm going to hand you the keys to Martin A's and maybe even help you figure out who's behind this killing. Maybe. <laughs> Fine. If I do happen to be there, I guess maybe I can ask them. You bring joy to my heart, Harry. Such a pleasure to be working with you. Here. Hands me an open white envelope. You need to get signatures from Isabel Sadie nice and Lillian Carter. The also nice name. Is right past the pawn shop and across the canal. I hear there is some trouble with the water lock, but they should fix it by Wednesday morning. Wait, where's the pawn shop? Once you have the signatures, mail this to 13022 La Roca in La Delta. That's me. Then I'll know you're a real kingsman and a patriot. Well, going to leave now. See you soon, Debardeur. Just kidding. But not too much. Where the fuck is the pawn shop? I can interact with the envelope. White envelope with a stamp attached to the upper right corner handed to you by Evra Claire. Inside are some legal documents with two names printed on them. Isabel Sadie and Lillian Carter. Both signatures are required. Get two signatures for him. We have leveled up. Which means we could get a point in... What is it? Rhetoric? To unlock the skill check on the on the container again, or we could get where are the others that I fucked up earlier. What was it volition one more time? And suggestion? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, we can talk to Kim. 
Let's, let's do that real quick. Kim? We should think about calling it a day, maybe. The nights are still miserably cold this time of year. I haven't paid the cafeteria manager for damages yet. You should take care of that, then. I think I have the money now. This is money, right? I show him the bills. I'll also take a room at the Whirling. One cannot get much closer to the crime scene. Is it just gonna auto subtract me? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna pay him. What happens if you just don't have the money? Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, look, something forgotten on the coffee table. Where? What? What's the coffee table? Is that the coffee table? I can't see anything. What? What table? There's nothing forgotten. Maybe I picked it up already. The game is only now telling me about it. All right. Um, I think we'll end for today then. We're just gonna stand in front of the whirling and rags, and then I'll s I'll sleep over my decision to pay Gate or not. I guess. If you had not talked to Ibra this day, the coffee table would yield the pass you could get away from the harbor. Oh, okay. Interesting. If you don't have the money, Kim will save your sorry ass at great expense to himself. Do you make me earn all this money so Kim wouldn't have to... Oh, God damn it. God damn it, Emil. Manana is gone. I guess all of the people are gone now that it's... Yeah, it's officially considered night. Are there things you can only do at night? I wonder, I wonder. Well, she's still out and about. Maybe you should call Sylvie again, just for good measure. Sylvie! Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, um, toolbox. I pick up the radio again. Connect me to Sylvie. Just a second. Sylvie Malaika on the line for you, officer. Yes, hello? I recognize her voice. Hey, hey Sylvie, it's the police again. What else do you need, detective? I think now that I heard your voice, I got everything I need. Thanks. You hear the call breaking up on the other end of the radio, and then the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? I'm done. 57, over and out. In the cabin, you see... I close the door. And then we send the front off. Again, the whirling and rags. And save end for today I'm gonna i'm gonna sleep next time that's it the start of the stream i'm gonna sleep doesn't make much sense but i'm just gonna end it now uh bye youtube bye bye